Hello and welcome, Gemini. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your September 2023 general reading. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Gemini, we will divide the reading slightly into sections so it's a bit easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy for the month of September 2023 for the sign of Gemini first, before we then go into emotional core, see if there's love coming in, maybe there's healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff, before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September 2023. Now remember that you are the third sign and we're in the ninth month. So, three is the number of progression, nine is the number of completion. Before we do anything, just be aware that letting go is in the energy of the month of September. And we're moving into autumn, where on the 23rd, uh, there will be an autumn equinox video on that channel. But we're moving into autumn, um, what, which, which means that naturally things that are no longer for you are attempting to fall by the wayside so the energy of letting go is quite strong and helpful right not quite sure how that relates to the video yet or to the reading because you know i have to still shuffle the cards here um, and while i shuffle the cards i just want you to always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day the moon is the ruler of the night and you are the ruler of your own destiny are you ready, Gemini? You right, Moll? Hmm? Hey, sweetie. Maybe anyway, my cat is here. <laughs> right. So, you have the twelfth house, which is the, 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 the house of Pisces. You right, sweetie? Hi there. Hi there. I'm in the middle of doing a reading, sweetie. Hmm? Oh, you might be a Gemini. Hmm? Showing up for that video. Good girl. Anyway, that's my cat Molly. Uh, she has been in videos before. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, the overall energy, you have the 12th house, the house of Pisces. And Pisces, by default, is the energy of introspection. What you're being asked this month, Gemini, is to... It's interesting, because there is an energy here where you are asked to not hide away. Right? So they're not asking you to, to hide this month. Right? Don't break it. <laughs> but you are asked... In September to largely reflect on your life see where it is going but also see how you're feeling on reflection well what is it exactly you're doing hmm? sorry about that <laughs> so what you're being asked Gemini is to be introspective, be a bit more reflective of where you are at at this point in time, and at the same time understand um, understand that that while you are, are being reflective, it's not a good time to 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 um, shy away from people. Really, not a good idea. So isolation is not what you need to 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 be going through this month, but introspection is what you are supposed to be looking at, right? So, and remember, you are the third sign. Now, Pisces, which is the energy you know, of the 12th house, is governed by Neptune. Neptune, also known as Poseidon, um, the, 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 the god of the sea, has a trident, right? And the trident has the number three in it. Three is the number of progression. Three is the number of Gemini, because you are the third sign. So you're getting strengths from within because the number three is present in the 12th house four times three in any case so again um 
the more you are yourself, the better. Also understanding that the, the idea of let's just go within for a bit to, to figure out the next step, which is what I'm getting, um, is really important. The, the, the reason why you are asked to be introspective is because there's changes coming. I already said that we're going into, or we are in September, um, right, ninth the number of completions. So this is the month where we come to the end of cycles and into new beginnings. Um, and so the idea here is to understand that at this point in time, changes are coming, changes are normal, uh, and to a large extent, changes are needed. Therefore, you have to be a bit more introspective to see and this is the whole point here, to find out, to figure out, to remember what it is you no longer need, right? So when it comes to your emotional core, um, you have the energy of Aquarius, which is the energy of, of, of the water bearer, of the giver. When it comes to either manifesting a relationship or making the relationship that you're in really work, introspection, shying away, moving away, does not work in that era, era, area, whatever. <laughs> you have the energy here. Let me just, there's something with the camera here. Uh, anyway, technology. You have the energy of collaboration. You are being asked to, to be proactive in that relationship and see where it is going. So moving on to your um, opportunities, your opportunities also will be much more forthcoming when an intimate relationship is coming to fruition or uh, should you be in one is looked at and probably, and this is just the way the guide showed this to me, is ironed out. So because you're being proactive in your emotional core, when it then comes to opportunities, you know, where you go from here at this point in time, uh, this month, therefore, Gemini, they're not talking about opportunities um, about work. They're talking about opportunities um, about having a relationship that can carry the two of you into either unknown territory or into new territory and really make a life together. So. Basically, because your overall energy is to be reflective, also then reflect, is that possible with the partner you with? And if you haven't got one and you're manifesting one, um, you know, um, don't manifest someone, sounds a bit horrible, I mean, why would you? That is a bit boring. Okay, they're not asking you to, 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 to manifest a party guy, 24-7 heavy metal guy, right? They're not saying that to you. But someone who's a bit quirky and a bit more outgoing is exactly the energy that at this point in time would help you to be proactive um, yourself. Remember, you're the third sign. Three is the number of progression. There is an energy or uh, just innately in Gemini that makes you want to explore things, right? Um, and when it comes to opportunities, that is also important. Now, your card here is the seventh house card, which is the relationship card, and it has the number 45. Four and five is nine. Nine is the number of completion. Nine is the number of September. So what the guides are saying to you is, when it comes to opportunities, reflect on what isn't working and let that go, right? So being proactive, is important and it is contra contradictive actually because on the one hand side when you are being proactive you would then have to look where it's going on the other hand side your soul will already tell you that shit you've been through numerous times is not working so it's about being honest uh, to you uh, to yourself as well and understand when things have come to an end to then let them come to an end right Gemini that's all we have time for you're watching Thomas Tower readings please like subscribe again um, not again please like subscribe and share <laughs> can't talk in any case until you meet again please remember that the sun is the ruler of the day the moon is the ruler of the night and you are the ruler of your own destiny see you next time bye bye